going to add to our menu um, our button. So zero. says when you push a button in your little menus item if it is 
the insert ID, which is the first item, then do this. Because we only have one button here, we we'll only have one case here. But if you added multiple buttons to your menu item, you'd have a different case for every button. All right, so when we click on that button, we want to create a note, and then we want to return true, meaning we've done exactly what that function asks us to do. But why aren't you looking for it? Well, I'll create the other Great note. Oh no, we got added in. Yeah. That's right. Um, we right question. Um, I know that they recently that is item dot get item ID. That's a string, right? No, that's an actual. That's that's the item ID in the menu. So okay, when I press a button, get item ID is the position of that button. Okay. So it's it's returning one when I'm clicking here, returning two when I click okay. here, okay. returning three. Yes. Um, all right. So now we set up our button. Let's go ahead and set up our so create note. So we can create a note. So let's go back up above our functions here. And um, in this first version of the program, um, it's not going to be extremely useful because handling sets of strings and um, lifetimes of database items and counters and all that good stuff gets really tedious um, and I don't think that we don't go that far yet. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to store the name of our new item and retrieve the name of new, our new item. We'll add bodies and you know time and priorities and all that things um, if we continue this probably next semester. Is it? Yeah. Um, so this is just kind of to get us working the database a little bit. Um, so we'll construct the name using the note and the counter um, to see which number it is. Um, we're going to call our database helper that we created earlier to create the note. Um, that's going to take the information that we pass in, hand it to the database, add it to the table. Um, and then we're going to call fill data to populate the list of notes. Um, the way we're going to write fill, fill data is going to be a little bit inefficient, but it's simple. You'll understand how it works. Um, we'll be doing that immediately after we create this. So let's go ahead and create a function that's only available to this class. So we private. it. It's not going to return anything, so it's going to be void. Um, create. Um, so we need a string. It's going to be the name of the note. Um, and we're going to build that string using whatever the um, the index is, so it's going to be note, and then number, note number, um, plus plus actually, yeah. Oh, that's cool, I haven't done that, that's kind of, yeah, I like that. Sorry. So that builds, what number do I <laughs> just so, Yeah, because yeah. I'm Trixie, you know how to that's, that's pretty cool, um, <laughs> I that before. That's, that's really awesome. So we're going to grab our helper. And we're going to create our notes with the new name. And our body is going to be the empty string because we're not filling any bodies in yet. Now, I'm calling create note, but I'm calling the mobile database helpers create note. So when I call create note here, it's actually calling the create note in the database functions. Um, so calling create note from our button, it's going to give us our little view to create our notes. Um, then it's going to say, okay, database, I'm going to create a note. And then the database code will actually handle inserting that data into the, uh, in the table, formatting it correctly, and all that kind of stuff. So we've got two create note functions going on here. Um, you see one takes no parameters and one takes two parameters. Um, then full data, which we are about to write. full data. All right, fill data, one of the reasons why I left it for last. Because this is really where we're going to use those cursors that I told you about. Uh, cursors. Cursors, cursors. Uh, this method uses a simple cursor adapter, which takes the database cursor um, and binds it to fields provided in the layout. Um, so we already talked about this layout, layout fields. We're going to actually put stuff in them from the database. Um, the field to find the raw elements of the outlist in this case, text one, um, which I showed you earlier, 
Um, and the, uh, the notes row layout we created earlier. Um, and then it's going to provide a mapping from the fields in the database to your view. Um, so that's going to be a private function. It's going to be only available in this class. It's not going to return anything. And it's going to fill the data. Um, all right. A little bit complicated, so I'll add some comments in here. We get all the notes uh, from the database. Uh, and then create our item list. I did not. See, it's correct. Um, so we're going to create our cursor. Call it C. We're going to use it with the mobile database helper. Um, and so we do fetch all notes. Um, if you remember, Fetch all notes is in our database adapter class. Let's look it up. Uh, and that's going to return a pointer to the database table with these items in it. And uh, all the null stuff you don't really need to know. Uh, this query function is extremely powerful, extremely versatile, and has obviously a lot of options. Um, so if you're interested in doing a lot of database stuff, you're going to be using this query function a lot. And you can do some really like, crazy stuff with it. You could probably teach an entire class just on these um, these little databases, the way that they have them set up. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, so then we're going to start managing our cursor. Okay. Let's see. This is a function that's um, built in. It's basically saying, okay, we're going. Our command should have the control should have dropped up. Thank you. I forgot about that. Um, so we're creating our cursor, which is essentially a pointer to a database field. And then we're saying, okay, the mobile database created the cursor, but we're going to go ahead and take control of it once it's, once it's um, set it to the right position. Um, we're going to grab a string uh, from where we're coming. It's going to be a new string. Um, and that's going to be the notes database adapter title. All right. Those are curly braces, by the way. Um, so this is saying, so we're getting a string from our database, the key title, which is the title of our notes. Um, we're going to get an integer array um, that it's going to, which is where on the screen it's going to. That's going to be a new integer array. Um, and we're going to use our ID text one. So what this does is it goes to where that cursor is pointing in the database table. It grabs what's stored in that table and the key title position and stores it in a string. Then it takes what's in that string and puts it into the text ID field in R. So now, right now, the text one integer, um, which is where and here it's going to go, um, is set to the position. It's pointing to the position in that table in that database for that specific. Um, so now we know where we're pointing. Now we're going to create an array adapter to um, set it up to display using um, our row function that we wrote next to um,